Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. On the last episode, we... Oh god, what did we do? It was a while ago now. Um, that's right, we beat the Soul Tyrant and... Wait, how was that last time? Yeah, that was last time. We beat the Soul Tyrant and um, the Watch Knights and ascended to the top of Lurian Spire here in the City of Tears and um, killed him to release one of the shackles on the Temple of the Black Egg. Um, and on this episode, we're going to be doing some stuff that we could have done for a little bit, but I didn't feel like we were ready to until right about now. And that something is not quite these blooming wing sentries. This, this should not be a problem. But, yeah. Sometimes it just is. Um, okay. Oh, not off to a terrific style, but basically what we're going to be doing is heading back to Dirtmouth first and foremost. Um, and then heading from there to do some other stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. Sorry about the, um, the missed, a couple of missed days without uploads. I just, things have been getting in the way and so there hasn't necessarily been time or, um, the energy to do so. Um. But, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some out um, in the next couple of days. So, we're going to head up here and then head straight down into the crossroads because we've got nothing to do on the left-hand side. Um, because we haven't found any more... Um, flames for the Grim Child, and we haven't got anything from Sly because he is completely out of stock now. So, first things first, head to the Godfather and see what more he's got for us because I think we've rescued a few since we last visited. Okay, well, if you want to be like that, but go ahead and do so. Okay, I'd rather you didn't do that though. Uh, how much is it going to be total this time? 645. Not bad. Thank you very much, Godfather. Okay. Now, what we want to do is head back to where we fought the um, false knight um, last time, if you remember that. Um, might actually be quicker just to head back up to Dirtmouth and take the stag down. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, sure, yeah. Um, so, just head over to the station and head down. Hello. Go the right way, sit down in the right place. Right. Yeah, the bomb is blocked off, so you can't um, shortcut to Salupa that way, but luckily we can still go up, and that's the direction that we need to go, so it's all good. Yeah, remember these big guys used to give us so much trouble? Yeah, they're taken over by the infection now. Can't do anything. Just sick, basically. Yeah. Sad to see, but that happens. This place is not doing so well. I think if we crystal dash up here, we should be able to... Yeah, do that. By hopping up here, we managed to. I mean, yeah, like I said, we could have done this a bit earlier. Um, but um, we're coming back here for other stuff anyway, so now is as good a time as any. Hopefully, I can remember how to platform. Right, there we go. Oh, regular aspids. How I missed you. 
Well, uh, compared to your primal cousin, I've missed you. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, this we were definitely supposed to come to earlier. This is putting on the gauntlet music when it's, um, well, with these things. Sure. Last I checked, they aren't particularly threatening to us. Yeah, terrifying stuff, really. <sighs> oh, there's more! Goody! Yeah, Defender's Crest is useful for these little guys because it basically takes them out all by itself. Right, so here we have the Glowing Womb Charm. Let's have a look at that. Drains the soul of its bearer and uses it to birth hatchlings. The hatchlings have no desire to eat or live and will sacrifice themselves to protect their parents. So, yeah, basically what it says, um... Greed. Uh, no. Um, it spawns these little, like... Basically they'll look like little, um, flies, but with the vessel's, um, face. Um, and they will just fly your enemies and essentially just cause a little bit of damage by slamming into them. It's somewhat useful in some situations, I guess. I never really personally use it. Um, but I suppose it could be um, useful at some point in the game. But I just use my soul for other things. If it didn't consume soul, then it would probably be alright for a two slot. Well, I mean, yeah, that would just be good because there would just be continual damage. Um, but I don't think it's really worth it. So, there's the Force Knight's, um, you know, remains. We can hear the sounds of um, the same kind of thing that was inside the Force Knight. Here we have a cracked wall. Be warning the loss of their uh, friend that we so brutally destroyed. Um, so yeah, this is not one of these dream bosses. Now you may be thinking, Wolf's Knight was first boss of the game and may have been hard to start with, but it uh, probably can't be as difficult now. Um, yeah, you might want to prep yourself for a shock. This is widely regarded as one of the um, toughest dream bosses in the game. And you can like go the long way around to the other side, but I don't really see the point. Um, there he is, the failed champion. He's a much faster version of the false knight and deals double all the damage on some of his hits. Shock waves are much bigger, rocks fall from the ceiling with just about every attack. Yep. Everything's too damaged, basically. Except for the rocks. The rocks do regular damage. Which is very merciful of the game. But, yeah, like I said, one of the toughest bosses. Um, at least, like, for the starting players. Uh, actually, no, for any players, even. Okay. Luckily, with an upgraded nail and some nail arts, you can use those to gain some advantage against him. But, honestly, even I'm not sure I'll be able to take him out first try because, dear god, sometimes he just does that and there's not really a lot you can do about it. If you want an invincibility slam through um, his attacks at any point, there's no shame in doing so. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, no soul will gain from hitting hit the shell, just like last time. You need to um, either attack the mount directly or we mail him when he's down, which is very useful. You can usually get three in um, if you want to damage him as well. If you don't want to damage the cycle, then you can get more, but um, I recommend um, doing both, basically. Cyclone Slash can be good against him, um, but only really under the right circumstances. Oh my goodness! Okay, no, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Nope. Oh! Hmm. Got through the first two cycles. So that was good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't recommend bringing the Defender's Crest to this, because something very useful about this is that you can farm soul off of these two maggots. Um, unfortunately, the Defender's Crest will kill them. Um, so, it's not really recommended to bring that, but I forgot. And so now we're here. 
Um, I mean, hey, that was pretty good. We nearly did it on the first try, so let's give it another go. Right, okay. Come at me. Like I said, Cyclone Slash is a strong opener, but it, as always, it leaves you very open to attack. Hmm. He will almost always jump to land exactly on you, or at least where you were a moment ago. Um, as long as that's not basically the entire arena, but even then I wouldn't count it out. So you can usually move according to that. Even, like I said, I wouldn't count on it. It's not an entirely trustworthy system because this is just a hard boss, and that is the long and short of it. Oh, I don't think... Yeah, no, we didn't do the cycle there. Oops! As always, hitting the rocks at him will deal some extra damage. Is it worth it to try and hit them a lot? No! I don't think so. In fact, this one is going blooming awfully. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't like that. Okay, well, some ones go better than others. Oh, I'll just grab a little bit. I don't want to spend. I don't want to waste the time farming it every time. That's just a nightmare to watch. Well, it's not a nightmare to watch. It's boring to watch. Um. The game doesn't care because it just says, oh. Oh my goodness. Nearly dashed the wrong way there. That would have been curtains. And sometimes it's just not fair. Uh. Oh, that one attempt wasn't even close, to be honest. That one was poor. That was just a bad one. Two damage. Um, anything else? Won't. I failed champion. Maybe I'm just the failed one. Well. <sighs> really? 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 Maybe I just shouldn't have fought this boss at this point. Maybe I should have waited. I thought I was better at the game than this one. Oh. Okay, well. Game! Do not jump to 30 FPS! Well, I went and changed out some charms, so now I've got, um, still kept quick focus on, but I've got, un well, I've got Fragile Strength on, uh, and I've got the Grim Child back on. Something important to note that I probably should have mentioned before at some point, Fragile Charms, such as Fragile Strength here, do not break if you lose a Dream Boss. They will be fine. They, um, you don't lose them or anything, they're, they're absolutely fine. And so, feel free to take them in. Probably should have mentioned that before, like with the Soul Tyrant or something. But hopefully it's going to help us here. We'll see! Okay, well, I was hoping we wouldn't get hit on that one, but sometimes it's like that. Grim Child is just 3 damage, and Fragile Strength is obviously also just 4 damage. Okay. 
okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Okay. See, this is going so much smoother. Actually, yeah, I definitely use fragile strength for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we're doing it. Okay. What? Uh oh. Oh, I see. Right, it's doing the same thing as the original fight. If I died there, if I'd only had one hit left, I would have been extremely angry. Oh. There we go. It's done. Only took about 20 minutes, most of which will be cut out for your. Sanity, which I've lost most of mine. I wanted it, the strength to protect the others. When I saw that knight sleeping safe in his big armored shell, it wasn't madness that drove me to it. I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? Well, you know, I was just stronger, wasn't I? He said after losing that fight about many times. Okay. Maggots, weakest members of the Kingdom of Hallowness, generally look down upon and forced to do menial labour. Existing mainly of sweet fat, these helpless creatures make excellent provisions for long journeys, best roasted of open flame. If they try to bargain for their life, just ignore them, they have nothing to offer. Well, that's overly harsh, but honestly, after that, I think they deserve it. And, believe it or not, that is not all I'm doing this episode. I thought I would- I thought that was gonna be much quicker, in all honesty. I really did. But no, there's another thing that I would like to do in this episode, and I plan to. I'm just gonna cut out most of those attempts because they were painful for me and they'd be painful to watch. Okay. Now to do this next thing. You know, first of all, put on all of our usual charms back because I like them. Um, you'll actually. For this next thing we're going to do, I highly recommend Defender's Quest. Um, now then. Um, and we normally have Greed on, of course. Um, so then, we're going to take our stag to the hidden station. Because we got something to do in the ancient basin. Whoops, that sort of rhymed. Okay. And then after this, um, we shall head to the Seer in the resting ground, because obviously we've got 300 dream essence off of that. Um, so that's pretty good. But, off we go. It's been a while since we've been here. At least it feels like a while ago. I suppose the last time we came was when we got the Monarch Wings, which maybe wasn't as long ago as I thought. It was a while. It was before we got all the um Grim Troop stuff and all that jazz. Um remember those spikes at the end? Because the game design isn't mean like that. Well I didn't even see that. That's okay. That's right. I remember, another dream boss for us to do, yay! I don't think this one is as hard as the Fail Champion, um, I really don't. I don't think any of the dream bosses are as hard as that, um, except for one, which we won't be seeing for a bit, um, but it is not this one. Oh, there we go, nope. Well... Maybe getting to the boss is the hard part. <sighs> Thank you. Always want to make use of the looking down function.
fight. Oh, and there he is, the lost kid. And there's the reason why I recommend the Defender's Crest. The Defender's Crest, rather, well, there's anyone. Um, these balloon guys are a right pain if you don't have a way of quickly sorting them out, and they only have one health. And therefore, the Defender's Crest is amazing at getting rid of them. Um, I wouldn't recommend the Grim Child for this one, because the Grim Child will not, um, when you stagger him, which is normally either your chance to do some good damage or to heal, um, the Grim Child will end staggers, um, with his attack. So you don't typically want to bring it, um, to bosses where the stagger matters a lot. Um, so, yeah, don't. I would recommend against it. Although, I suppose he can help with the um, balloons as well. Um, but overall, I just think the Defender's Crest is more useful for that. And it's, you know, a bit of extra damage on the boss every now and then. Oh, this one I'm pretty sure I can manage first try. And again, I thought about the last one, but I, I do really think about this one. Now, the Defender's Crest is not perfect for them, because uh, the bubble... Like, the, the bubble of gas um, only goes out every so often, but it's often enough that it will catch about, I, I'd say, 90% of them, at least 80%, um, which is, well, basically more than you'd be getting otherwise. Whoops, okay. Hit him there twice, which staggered him and then hit him out of it, so. Um, but yeah, it's more the same from last time. He'll... He... Um... This boss moves in ways um, to where it's supposed to counter how most players are playing at this point of the game. Um, and this is just a harder version of that. Why am I attacking him? Uh, sorry. I'm done. Oh, that was a risk move, because it might not have been. Um, yeah, fine. Nothing to say, just moving on. All right. 1,700 Dream Essence. I think it is high time we go see the Seer again. So we're going to do that and then end the episode. Because, I don't know, just the two bosses feels like not enough content for one episode. So maybe this will count. Nah. Oh wow, fail champion, tough boss, just really hard. Oh well. Bag, one more place to go please, at least today. There, there, there will always be more places for you to take us, but... Ugh. Yeah, we got a bunch of green juice. Ah. I do like the rest of guns, it's very calming. Ah, Wilder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the green ale. So, you already have se oh, 700 was the last checkpoint she gave us. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. That lock of theirs, desperate and very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I go numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, come back and visit me. Uh -huh. Ooh, another vessel fragment. Two more to go. Dream now now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind, like flints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Hold the dream now tight, Wilder, and imagine a great gate opening before you. Ooh. Master the dream gate. 
hold Y, hold down while using the dream nail to set a dream gate, hold up while using the dream nail to travel to the green the dream gate. Um this is essentially a warp point. The dream nail glows bright, holds over 1200 essence. Looking into it, I can see so many memories peering back at me, so many asking to be remembered. None of us can live forever, and so we ask those who survive to remember us. Hold something in your mind and it lives on with you. Forget it and you seal it away forever. That is the only death that matters. Ah, so they say. Enough of that, though. Take this relic and come back to me with 1,500 essence. Go! An arcane egg. So next, she wants 1,500. But the dream gate, um, what she just gave us. So, like she said, like, like she already said, hold down while doing the dream nail to set a dream gate. You hold up while doing it. You'll walk to wherever that dream gate is. You can only set one at a time, and there are a few select places that you can't set them, but for the most part you can do it basically anywhere. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it is a, it is essentially one warp point that you can set anywhere in Hallowness that you've been, and you can travel there immediately from anywhere else. Um, there is no restriction on where you can use uh, the Dream Gate from. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to the stag, because this is the end of the episode, we've done quite enough. So on this episode of Hollow Knight, we uh, conquered two more of the dream bosses after much frustration and collected our rewards from the seer. And next time, we're going to be probably exploring a new area, I think, um, and seeing what we can do there. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.